This week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. I never burn it out, baby. That's two. Fan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management. Bee Stinger. Gold Tip. Insane Archery. Longhorn Fab Shop. Oak Ridge Game Calls. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters. Vapor Trail. And also by these fine sponsors. Be sure to visit www.deerhunterfan.com. While you're there, you can watch free weekly semi live episodes during each hunting season. And be sure to visit the Fan Zone. Once there, you can create your own profile if you sign up, upload your own videos and pictures, and have your own hunting episodes online for everyone to see. So visit us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. I just want to take a second here and talk to you about an awesome product we use, the Insane Archery Bow Camera Mount. Not only is this an awesome piece of equipment that you can use to capture your best bow hunting moments. Got good video of him. But you can also use it as a tool. Play your shots back and see exactly where you hit that animal and decide what you're going to do next. So make sure you visit Insane Archery today and purchase your Insane Archery bow camera mount and capture the hunt. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. And I'm Travis Olmstead. This week we're going to focus on turkey hunting and different strategies for it. There's some birds you can talk to, some birds that don't want to be talked to at all. And we're going to look back at a, at a year where Travis was able to get his first ever double and he did it on film. When I say double I mean in New York you can shoot two birds during a season, not during the same day. These birds were a little spaced out. Would you, how early in the season did you get your first one? Um, it was like the second week, I think, of season, second week of May. And then the, you got the last one in the last week. Yes, yes. So, yep. so I know Travis was having a little bit of a hard time early in the season. He was always around these group of birds. They talked to him, they gobbled back to him, but he couldn't ever get one to come in. And what changed on that first morning that you finally got your first bird? Well, I realized they were call shy, and um, so 
I got on this bird and I waited and uh, a guy up a hunter up on top of this hill kept calling and this bird just kept coming my way. I made one little call in the beginning and he just kept gobbling and kept coming. Had to wait, it was a long wait, but exciting. So that guy making the same mistakes you have made before yeah. pushed that bird right to you. Yes he did. And that's that's a unique circumstance because you know you, you a lot of times you're not in a situation like that and you lose patience and people will call these birds and they they oh, won't yeah. come in. So I was there. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and have a look at that hunt. So I heard it gobble. I decided to move in. Gave a few calls. And then I just sat and waited.
long goes Tom, baby. Woo! Yeah. This morning I got in the woods and these turkeys were roosted about 150 yards above me. So I, I moved in a little bit, got 60 yards closer or so. I heard them fly down through the woods. It was pretty neat. When they landed, they, I'm guessing they were about 100 yards away from me. And uh, I think he flew the other way. But I gave a couple calls. He started coming. So I just sat tight, shut up. I never seen a bird work so cautiously. He come down through the woods, just side to side, strutting and I got a good, I think I got some good footage. I can't wait to check it out. You know, good bird. He's not not that old. You know, he's about a two-year-old. His spurs aren't that long. They're about three quarters of an inch. But been a hard season so far. I'll take him. Fab Shop. Power through anything. Twelve Point Property Management offers food plots, trail cam services, brush hogging, property posting, timber services, and overall property management. Visit 12pointpropertymanagement.com. Every so often in the field, you're presented with an opportunity to make your dreams come true. Write memories and to capture the hunt forever. Capture your hunt with the insane archery bow camera mount as seen on DeerHunterFan.com TV. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. That bird didn't just want to respond to calls, but he wanted to remain hidden every time he gobbled, every time he was behind a tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't seem to get him on film gobbling. It was funny. He, every tree. But, uh, you know, that looked like a pretty far shot. How far was that shot? It was actually 53 yards. So, yeah, it was quite a shot, but I, I patted my gun, I knew I could do it, so yeah. I took the shot. Yeah, and I guess, like, the biggest thing with that is, you know, you just want to get up there as fast as you can to make sure that bird's not going to get back up. But, uh, so that was one instance of a, uh, what do you want to call it, circumstance that a, that a gobbler can, can be in. Um, another is this next hunt. Uh, you were out hunting, and you'd done some setups early in the morning, and then, then what happened? Well, we did some early setups and no birds, and we come across this one field where I can hunt, and we seen these birds way off, and decided to do a little Tennessee sneak, so <laughs> it worked out. Let's have a look at that. So me and Eric got in the truck, we went around the block, we seen a couple birds in this field, Eric said they were gobblers, we decided to move in.
Yes, I just said. Okay, where are we gonna settle now? Where are we gonna settle? Okay. Come on this way. Can we just go sit right here? Hold on, hold on. Okay, this is what we gotta do. We wanna keep these trees right between us and him. Get as low as you can and try to get as close as you can. Do you wanna sit up in this corner? Because is he gonna hit that and turn off the hill? He's just out there right now, me going around. Do you want to go up in this corner though? I'm not going to put your stock in the cabin. So we get close. Yeah, there you go. Got on this bird. We finally got on this bird. We see him in the field, we're putting the stock out. Also for shop. We spotted these birds in these fields and we were stalking in closer and my heart was racing. We got to that tree, I was just waiting for Eric to say I could shoot. Go get him, go get him. Yeah! Ow! Give me some. <laughs> Look at that. He's got nice beard on him. Seven. That's probably a good eight inch beard, I'd say. Right there. Three quarter inch spurs. Yep. Good two year old. <laughs> Give me some. Yes. I never bird it out, baby. That's two. First spring. Burden out. Yo, brother got beat up a little bit. But don't care. <laughs> don't care. Hey, that, that was that was pretty good. Is that the first turkey you've ever stalked on? Yeah, that was the first stalk, so it was pretty fun. So. <laughs> I think I've only ever stalked two turkeys, and the one I never got a shot at, I crawled through a plowed field, and by the time I got done, I was just covered in mud, and didn't even get a shot at the birds, they busted me. But that that was good. I mean, you guys used that, used that hedgerow, and the land, you could tell coming up to the field, it was going uphill. Yeah. So you stayed in that dip, got around there, that was that was that was a really good hunt right there, and so now we've seen two different hunts, one where one with a call shy bird, one with birds out in the middle of the field that you got to try to get to, stalk up on them, and now we're gonna look at just the way that everybody wants it to happen when you go out turkey hunting, throw a decoy out and call one right in. Let's go see if we can't put some more down.
probably weighs 20 something for sure. Good Nebraska mixed breed, whatever they are down here, Merriam's Rio hybrids. I don't care. He came in strutting, gobbling, good spurs on him. I'm happy. So once again, Mark flopped off another turkey's head like it was no one else's business yeah. to do so. Man, I'll tell you what, that guy can really put the birds on the ground. And well, I guess you could say the same about Travis if you just watch this episode, but don't expect to see him kill any more turkeys on film. No, so. <laughs> no, that's it. Just some too. <laughs> and uh, I can kind of say the, the same about me, and we're going to have a look at, at those hunts next week. As uh, that same year that Travis was laying them down, it seemed like we all were. Yeah, it was a good year. So uh, we're going to look at uh, the strategies I used and the, the uh, situations I got put in chasing those big gobblers. But until then, I'm Brian Masson with DeerHunterFan.com TV. And I'm Travis Homestead. We'll see you next time. DeerInterFan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management, Vapor Trail, Bee Stinger, Insane Archery, Gold Tip, Longhorn Fab Shop, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Oak Ridge Game Calls, and also by these fine sponsors and DeerHunterFan.com, an original online free hunting show.